Last episode, I began the quest to get every single smithing template in Minecraft. Because if I do manage to get every single one, I will gain an extra life. Yeah, that is my plan today. And welcome back to Friend... Uh, uh, guys, do you ever feel like you're kind of being watched? Yes, my brand new blockhead is always there in the background. He's very, very cool, but he is limited edition. He's only on sale for less than two weeks now. The timer is ticking away very, very fast. The website's at the top of the description. is blockheads.store. You can also go ahead and do that to him if you want. And he, he bounced Wow, he went far there. Sorry, mate. That wasn't very nice. Don't do that when you get the blockhead. Now I can say welcome back to friend or foe. So as I was saying, in the last episode, I got all of these. And I got some of the hardest ones, like the silence armor trim. And I got the four that you only find in the trail ruins, which means I've just got four to go. The netherite upgrade is also in this shulker box, so I can, I can put that into the chest. And the remaining four that I need are the wild one, the dune trim, the rib trim, and the spire trim. That means I need an end city, a nether fortress, a desert temple, and a jungle temple. As you can see, I'm starting with the nether fortress. However, to find the trim, I'm going to need to find a brand new one, I think I've already been to that one there. That's the one right near spawn. So instead, it's going to take quite a bit of traveling on foot. I also... I, I, did I, I have no ender chests on me. That's a little bit of an oversight. We, we can manage, but that also means I have no fire resistance on me, which is... It's just going to be annoying more than anything. I have nothing. I have nothing. I didn't really come prepared for this, but I should have everything that I need to, to get it. We have also decided this week that we're all going to do solo episodes. The reason being, we tried multiple times to get a session where we're all online and it, it just didn't happen. So we we're like, right, next week, we'll make sure we're all on together. This week, let's just make sure we have some friend or foe content going out. Do a solo one. So as you can see, I'm currently the only person online, which makes it even better for me to do this quest. As an extra side point for that, I'm going to need a lot of blocks to bridge around the end to get the end cities that I need for the Spire template. So tunneling through a load of netherrack is a great way to do that providing you don't walk into lava. Really wish I brought some ender pearls with me for this. It would have made life much, much easier. I also really need to get soul speed on these boots. It would really speed things up. Maybe I should be keeping an eye out for a bastion too. Aha, I found a fortress. I've just, uh, just spotted the bricks there. It's about time because this basalt delta is driving me crazy. I think to get into it, I can mine through here perhaps. Yep, we're in. I really hope it's one that... Oh my, how cool is that, by the way? Floating lava above your head. I love it. That's like the best roof you could have, isn't it? A floating lava roof. Anyway, don't get distracted. I really hope hope this is a fortress that no one has been to before. That's where the blaze spawner is. And that looks like the part of the fortress with all of the chests. Rin, come on then. Let's hopefully get the temp. Well, three diamonds. I'll tell you what, that's a pretty good start. So I just take the nether water as well. It always comes in handy, doesn't it? So I might as well. Oh my goodness, six diamonds in two chests. That is crazy. Sad to say there was none in the next one, but it's still pretty good. Now I'm more bothered about finding this trip. Oh my goodness, another one. And I'm going to take the flint and steel just in case, because if I can get quite a bit of obsidian, I might be able to make another portal. Now, there's a dead end there. And here, some gold and a bit of nether wart. But where is the smithing template? That is the big question. That's also a dead end. However, there does seem to be quite a bit more to explore. So I'm I'm still optimistic. I really don't want to have to find another fortress. Okay, there's a chest that way and a chest that way. Quite a lot of chests, really. And you know what? We take diamond horse armor. I think that is a great thing. I don't know where my horse is, but we can always get another one. Oh my goodness, six diamonds in one chest. So in this one fortress, I've got 15 diamonds. That is actually unheard of. That might be a, a record. I don't think, but like for me anyway, it is. I've never had this many in a single fortress or six in one single chest. It really is quite insane, but I am more bothered about this smithing template, which we've not been able to find. That's the, that's the crazy thing. 15 diamonds are not a single smithing template. What on earth is going on? And unfortunately, I've explored everywhere and it seems like the mission has been unsuccessful, which means I'll just have to continue exploring. That's a bastion this time, which is good because I might be able to get the obsidian. Oh my goodness, who's just joined? Okay, <laughs> well, solo episode, huh? Well, hmm, um, I have not got the gear for a battle. Okay, well, I <laughs> I need to make sure I don't, uh, I don't get distracted here. They're not saying anything. I don't really know what's happening. I hope they're not going to just come after me. Let's let's get some lava. I'm going to need it for this bastion. And I'd like to think I'm far away enough from everyone. Now, yeah, we've got the brutes. Those are the things that we have got to be quite careful of. But we can get that. See, I'll tell you what else we need to be careful of. People like him. That's just going to shoot me down. All right. I have a shield, though. So there's not really any excuse to die. There's no doubt about it that bastions are very, very dangerous places indeed. And they're even more dangerous when I haven't got fire resistance. I'm not really kitted out for this, other than my armor being pretty good. Everything else is a little bit, a little bit worrying. We can keep dropping down the feather falling 
is keeping me fairly safe. Just need to make sure nothing drops on my head. I can lava bucket these fellas. I can spleef you. There we go. And I need to make sure I get rid of that, that spawner, wherever it is. Giant magma cubes are a bit of a nightmare. There we go. We've broken that. I'm going to spleef the... Wait, did he just shoot his own man in? Oh my god, they've turned on each other. Okay, I'll just keep getting shot into lava. This is this is actually not... The magma cube is going to do me over it. I need to just just keep moving, SP. That's it. Eats up. Do with a bow and arrow or something. I need to get rid of that guy, really. He's, uh, he's definitely causing me some issues. There we go. He's been dealt with. Let's just jump over here. Just believe for you. This would be the worst time for Clown Pierce to turn up, wouldn't it? I was not expecting to have to deal with anything like that, which is why I've not got anything important on me. Anyway, let's see if we can find it. I think I'm kind of safe right now. Oh, this is nice. Okay, you know what? Let's just take it all. I'm going to see if I can safely mine up the gold. I don't really need the gold because I have a gold farm, but... I'm going to go for it anyway. Keep getting rid of these fellas. That's it. You cannot escape. And then I'm going to tower upwards and out of here. But I can also loot everything else. You ready, guys? Get split. Okay, I missed it. Uh oh, he's got me now. No, we were okay. You can get spleef though. Let's try that again. But this time, we get it right. Ancient debris. Nice. I'm also, like, really conscious that those guys have just come on the server. They've still not said anything. But they could just as easily be hunting me down, which does worry me. We've got some obsidian as well, which is nice. So it is probably in my best interest to keep moving not to stay in the same place because, yeah, if, if they do appear and, and, and they attack me, I'm going to lose a lot of good loot, which I, I don't want to happen. And I admit I am quite far away from the spawn area, which, you know, is, is in my favor. But I wouldn't put it past them to try something a little bit crazy. You know, this would have been a much easier project with Elytra, but since we don't have Elytra in friend offo, it takes quite a bit of exploring and running around. But that exploring and running around has paid off because I have found another one and we're in a place where we can get Enderman, which might be handy. I've got a boat here, if, uh, if you just go in there, sir. I've got a looting three sword and I have got an Ender Pearl. I thought somebody had been here because of that tower, but I think it's just natural, isn't it? Because it's got uh, the warped Nylium block on top. Let's have a little look through here and see what we can find. We're in the open part, as you can see. We need to get to the inside because that's where the good stuff is going to be. That's where the loot... That's where there could be many more diamonds. Who knows? So we know this is the way out. Do, do you mind, good sir? You're not allowed in here. Oh, it's not one of these glitched fortresses, is it? It, it could be, but hopefully it is a... Oh, no. It's not boding well, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's a glitched fortress that has no loot, which is a bit annoying. One of the most popular games of all time, and they, they can't make it so fortresses generate normally. But anyway, we'll, uh, we'll not worry too much about that. I'll just have to keep exploring. But I don't mind either because, as I said, PvP is on. And I do want to keep on the move to keep away from Clown, Pierce and Mini. Because I feel like they're up to something. I've messaged them twice and they still have not said anything back. They didn't tell me they were going to come on the server. I don't know what's going on. All I do know is that it is a little bit suspicious. I think I'm going to use my one and only underbelt to get up here. Hopefully it doesn't go wrong. Nope, it went very right. PvP is now off. I don't have to panic anymore. There is also a Bastion up ahead. And they've left. They just came online whilst pvp was what's going on both of them have gone offline why why did they do that to me they didn't even say anything in the chat it's so bizarre why do they keep leaving and joining what are they trying to they're just trying to freak me out aren't they anyway on a positive note i seem to have found another treasure bastion that's what it looked like from the outside don't think i'm gonna bother collect the okay i've got to out pvp this guy with lava here we go that's it Get wrecked, mate. Yeah, what I'm going to do is just going to check out the chest. I don't think I'm going to bother ending up all the gold. Let's also just boat down. It's a little bit quicker. Okay, we jump out of that boat. Are they in? Ah, the boat. The ultimate uh, the ultimate trap. Let's also spleef you. Now that I've done one of these, I feel a bit more confident. And PvP's off. I know I don't have to worry about as much stuff. We've got two chests here. Okay, we'll take a diamond sword. And this netherite stuff, to be honest, is just too much good loot here. There's also spot a little chest just hidden here. Another golden apple, perfect. And that's that. I can build my way out of here. I am now without a boat, but I have wood in my inventory, so I can make another if I decide to. This is where it's very easy to die, but if you just kind of block yourself in, you're usually in a pretty safe spot. Just don't, don't lava yourself. The ancient debris hall has been very good. I'm also finding the magma cream useful. And golden carrots. That's great, because I'm kind of short on food. And now the fortress hunt can continue. Here we go. This one does have some chests, so I'm going to get busy searching. We got it! Yes! Fantastic, finally. I've been searching and searching. And this now changes everything. I can get out of the nether and begin focusing on the final three trims. The only issue I would say is that I do need some obsidian to get out of it. Don't be like this, mate. I need another six obsidian so I could either try and find a ruined portal or I could find some friendly piglins that want to trade for some gold. I've given all of those to him. I'm going to try and find another piglin that wants to come in, such as this fella right here. And we got an obsidian. Fantastic. That's the first of them. Plus the soul speed three that I wanted. Very nice indeed. That's it, mate. You keep attacking the piglins. That's helpful. In fact, they're going at them from both sides. Do you want a bridge? Here you go. I will, I will bridge the gap for you. Go and get him, buddy. That's it. Okay, it's, is it working? I don't know. Anyway, I will complete the portal, light it up, and see you later. Now, in an ideal world, we would have been in a desert or a jungle. Well, 
We need a jungle pyramid. I see a ruined portal up ahead. We might be able to get more obsidian. Oh, yeah, we do need to find a, a, an armor trim in the jungle pyramid. Or jungle temple, whatever it's called. But let's be optimistic and see what happens there. Look at that. A bit of obby. Very nice indeed. I don't know where to mine. Oh, okay, careful. I, I think I'm going to mine up a little bit just in case I need to make a portal down the line. We'll then, at the very least, have the option to. I may be low on food, but there's three pigs lying around everywhere. And I have 25 golden carrots that I should probably be munching on. I'm not having much joy in this particular jungle. But don't worry, because I will just keep searching. And I've also got to keep my eye out for a desert as well. Oh my goodness, it's a naturally spawning pink sheep. That is not something you see every day. And I am going... No, just kidding. We'll, we'll leave him be. Took me ages to find one of those in my hardcore world. <laughs> Found it pretty quickly out here. There's another jungle up ahead. Very, very nice. Aha! We've spotted one. Please have the armor trimming. I've been searching for so long for this. And it's even more annoying that ages ago I did collect one of these, but I used them all up on my armor. So <laughs> let's have a look. Have we got anything in it? Oh, we've got them. And we've got three diamonds. That's even better. I think I'm just going to throw away the fire resistance. I think I'm going to take the emeralds as well because they are kind of handy. Let's go through here and see. We've got arrows. Okay, we knew that. I, I don't even know why I'm keeping all these arrows, actually. Let's take the gold also. And I'm going to pick the two fire resistance back up. Now, I'm going to steadily head back in the direction of spawn because I'm I'm about 18,000 blocks away. Quite a distance indeed. And as I head back, I'm keeping my eye out for a desert. Now, they are often next to a savannah, so we are in the right kind of area. We're also just going to keep collecting food. It's, it's a great way. To, yeah, look at that. 49 pork chops. It's a, it's a great way to do two things at once, you know. Explore the area, get the armor trims, get more food, and find a desert. Perfect. And there's a village there, which I could actually sleep in. I'm going to make sure that I definitely don't miss this opportunity. Yes, that means getting you out of... Whoa, there's somebody in the window. Sorry, I just saved your life. And in return, I'm going to steal your bed so that I can get some sleep. Now, Operation Find a Desert Pyramid can begin. We are also right by a mesa. I don't, I don't have any reason to visit the mesa, I don't think. Other than aesthetic blocks like terracotta, it's not particularly useful. And it turns out this was the world's smallest desert so i'm gonna have to try and find another one i've successfully found another desert let's see if this one is any better a desert pyramid was found and in this one a golden apple that's nice i don't really care about sweeping edge i don't really i i, I don't know i was gonna say do i need gunpowder but i don't are you telling this is the worst one i've ever been in no trims and no other loot that's good but it is a massive desert so the search can continue a desert well that's something you don't see very often and it does have some suspicious sand there but i don't really care about it enough to craft a brush and see what loot is in it as it'll probably just be some clay shards that, 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 that are not interesting to me and we've got a pillager outpost over there very cool i i again don't really oh lava don't want it to fall in that i don't know if there's anything particularly useful in the outpost. I mean, sometimes you get XP bottles, which are nice in the chest, but they're, they're far and few between. The armor trim that you can get there, the sentry one, I do already have that one. So there's, there's not really any point in me collecting that or, or even worrying about it. Oh, got, got a nice little boost from the pillager there as well. But yeah, no point in me worrying about it too much. Let's just see what we've got here. I guess I could take the wood. It's, it's an upgrade on what I've got. And I'll continue scouting this desert. It's absolutely massive. There's got to be the armor trim somewhere out here. Of that, I am pretty confident. It looks like there's a ruined portal there as well, which is nice. You never know what we might find there. Could be a golden apple. Could be obsidian. We shall soon see. And just as I predicted, there's a golden apple. I, I don't think I need anything else. There is also a gold block here, which I, I might as well grab. This desert also becomes a mesa. I wonder if they made mesas slightly more common in the update, maybe 1.19, 1.18, when they changed the terrain generation. They made jungles more common. Maybe mesas were the same. It was in 1.18. Also, I can see another ruined portal over there. Let's head to that. Another gold block. Don't know why I'm excited about that. I have a gold farm, but you know, it's it's just nice to collect them, I suppose. And there also doesn't seem to be a chest unless it's buried. Aha! Yes, it was. Like buried treasure. Another gapple. Fantastic. These aren't actually craftable in friend offo, so it is great whenever you see one of them to grab it. And would you look at that? We've found another one. Let's see if the loot is any better this time. Okay, well, straight away it is. We've got golden apples. We've got the June. And we've got a notch apple. Let's go. This, oh, this is such a good one. Anything else amazing here? Nothing else. But you know what? Diamond, everything I could have dreamed of was here. I don't even know what I'm going to get rid of. I think the fire resistance. And there's no point hanging about. I might as well make another portal, grab the TNT, and get out of here. We're going home. And going through the nether means the time that it takes will be much much shorter. One armor trim to go. Can you believe it? And what is that one armor trim? It's Spire, found only in end cities. So we're going to head back. Also, Minimooka's just logged on, so her PvP's decided to go. Hey, we could go. We could head back and kill him, actually. Sure. Can you imagine? <laughs> it's very tempting, but I think it's more important. Okay, he's just left the game anyway. Never mind. But yeah, getting the extra life is more important than anything else. I seem to have built out into a void of lava that is just 
driving me crazy. Let's get rid of that flint and steel. And then I can gather up two stacks of netherrack to fully complete the bridge. The fact that I managed to finish it is actually quite satisfying, really. I've successfully made it home. I hope there isn't a trap on the end of it. Clown Pierce and Minnie were up to something. Let's let's just stock up just in case. Everything seems fine. That's good news. I just, I just don't trust anything nowadays. Now all of this can be safely stored away. I can increase the collection of trims and I can head through this tunnel that I've built to the end. I also feel like everyone's gone through that end gateway up there. I don't know if another one actually spawned in. I did take out the dragon a second time. Let's have a little look. Apparently not from what I can see. But it's through this one that I shall go. And then I just need to head in a completely new direction. I'm gonna go for this way. And with Swift Sneak, it really speeds up the bridging. Can't believe that I forgot to bring Ender Pearls again. That would have also made life easier. But on the plus side, if I find an Ender Chest whilst I'm out here, I can get some from that. I could take out some Ender and that's a, another option. Not an option that I will be doing. First one has been spotted up ahead. It is one that contains chests as well. Hopefully those chests include the Spire Trim. Although I see broken blocks. Do not tell me somebody has already been here. Oh, somebody's already been here. They might not have taken the armor trip. I don't know if they're going to be any here. I'm just going to have to have a look. I can't believe that though, that somebody has actually already been to this. For all I know, it could have been me. No idea. Let's have a little look anyway and see what we're dealing with. Just so far and few between, but there is a shulker here. Might as well get more shulker shells. You can never have too many shulker boxes, can you? Yeah, it's a dead end. We should keep exploring, but we should try and go in another direction that somebody won't have gone. Kind of a tricky thing to do. But very necessary. I'll try this direction and see how it goes. This looks like quite a promising end city. And at first glance, there's no evidence that anyone's been here. Anyway, we can, we can only hope. Well, the shulkers are still alive, which is always a good sign. And it looks like the chests are unlooted. Okay, just a diamond pickaxe with Curse of Vanishing. Nothing exciting. I can, however, grab this shulker box and get a load of ender pearls. That's going to be useful. And then continue searching the city. Honestly, if I miss this ender pearl, I deserve to just be banned from friend or foe because it would be terrible. Okay, I made it. I, for a second, I was a little bit worried that I didn't. I thought, where have I landed? Come on, please have the trim. Where is it? We've got a sword at least, which is something. Sharpness. I mean, it's all right, isn't it? Can't, uh, can't turn my nose up at it. And a bunch of diamonds. Lovely. I tell you what I should be doing. I should be putting stuff into the shulker box to make sure I have plenty of space. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame that we didn't get the spire trim at all. But not to worry, as now that I have loads of ender pearls, I can much more easily continue the search for end cities. Another one up ahead. It's pretty small, but we'll see what it has. And the answer is nothing. It, it doesn't have what I'm after. This one, on the other hand, is pretty big. And I saw that there was an end gateway beam right next to it, which is very convenient. But let's see what we're going to find apparently nothing so far is the answer can i can i do this i think i can do this let's see does that ender pearl land it has to it it does i'm getting quite good at throwing them aren't i it's not good at finding what i need really i've had to work hard for this extra life haven't i but i have to say it'll be worth it in the end i've just found out it's only a 6.7 percent chance that it spawns in a chest which is why i probably need to search about 15 16 chests to find it and that explains why it's taking me a bit of time look at that another one which once again has nothing Finally, finally, I have found the Spire Armor Trim. This is taking me way, way too long, but it now means I can get an extra life. Well, I can get an extra life if I can safely get back to spawn without dying. You know, that's you know, where care might need to be taken. We'll also just check these chests as well. You never know, there might be something good here, although it didn't look like it. And now, yeah, I need to try and find an end gateway. Mission accomplished. It was fairly straightforward. I can see the beam ahead and then quickly end up all my way through. Look at this. Home sweet home. This sign can now be removed because I have done it, although it can't. I need to go and get them from my house. And then once I put all of these into my inventory and add them to this chest, I'm now eligible to go from seven lives up to eight. Does it look great? I'm now level with clown once again. And there really is not many extra life quests left at all. So thank you for watching. Don't forget about my blockhead. Their time is ticking for how long they're going to be there for. But the link is at the top of the description.